Hi, I thought I'd make a quick video to show you the latest updates I've made to the HS Touch interface for my home Seer system. I've been working on this for a few months. Um, and it's been a bit of a project week by week, just making changes to each screen. Starting off, of, after a time out period, it just goes to a dark screen. Used just to try and conserve the backlight. Comes up to the main menu. From here I can see battery levels, I can see the weather conditions today and coming up. Uh, access to my voicemail messages which play through the uh, home stereo um, as well as the temperature inside and outside of the house. The graph at the bottom has got a transparent background. Um, I tried a number of the plugins that came with um, on the forums for at home here and unfortunately none of them helped me because they didn't have the, the transparent background. Um, so we ended up using Chart Director which uh, someone had suggested. Um, and that has done the trick. It took me a good day's worth of playing around to try and get it to work successfully, but uh, it's certainly done the job. From here, got a screen with all the lights. Um, it's a fairly basic screen here in terms of functionality. Um, I've got scenes on the right, which I've got for things like the front door lights, the pool lights, the dining room lights with music and so forth, and a bit dime one to turn everything off. Got cameras, um, so using Blue Iris for the uh, the server side. Um, I can just scroll through each of the cameras from there. I appear to have a cobweb clone on one of them. Next is the uh, energy screen, again using the, the chart director and um, Rundog Graph for uh, actually loading the data up for the devices into an access database to use for the graph. On the top right I've just used some variables to calculate what the current cost per hour is and also what the expected uh, power bills can be at the end of the month and again the battery levels for each of the uh, battery powered sensors around the house. Now using a combination of um, Backitude as well as um, the Jono Bluetooth Detect um, I've got location based events, so as I get close to the house, it'll turn on the outside lights if it's night time, it greets me when I come into the house, it's the same thing for my wife and my daughter as well. For the temperature and the thermostat side of things, I'd taken a leaf out of many others book um, and come up with the, the, I guess the 3D perspective of the house. Uh, using software which is Sweet Home 3D. Unfortunately it doesn't come out great on the picture but it comes out crystal clear on the screen. Um, and from there I've just loaded up all the sensor temperatures onto that. Um, on the right hand side I've just got basic thermostats. Uh, thermostats using an infrared control rather than a hardwired thermostat. Um, and as a secondary device to ensure that it's actually in sync I've got a uh, power device uh, which I use to detect when it thinks it's on and the uh, power usage reflects that then it knows it's in sync if it says it's on and there's no power being used then it doesn't it, it recorrects itself and the final one which is the one I finished up today I uh, wanted to have a music interface um, I quite like the eight the squeeze box uh, squeeze box touch interface um, so this is taking a leaf out of that book um, you'll notice there are some definitely some differences between it um, and obviously across the top. Um, I've got a bunch of preset playlists. Now, I, I've thought around having the um, playlist selection option in there, but I found really all I did was actually have a bunch of playlists that I wanted to play. I'd hit one of those and then that would be, do me fine. I didn't need to go through and search what songs I actually wanted to play. That's something I'd do beforehand. Um, also, just for a, a, add a change on the right-hand side for each of the different rooms, I decided to colour code each one just, just to be a little bit different as well. So from there, that, that's functional. Uh, all I need to do is uh, I can change the volume, I can hit play, and obviously music starts up. Anyway, that's uh, a little clip for where I'm up to now. Um, the actual device I'm using here is actually a Kindle Fire HD 7 inch um, and what I've done is I've got a custom um, photo frame made for it and then I've just routed around the edges to fit it in um, and then just using a velcro tape to effectively stick it on the wall um, and with a power socket mounted in the wall itself. 
Um, and I think it's done quite a nice job. It's sort of um, such more responsive than the previous tablet I had and a bargain at the price that I paid for it. Anyway, hope you enjoy.